Drink responsibly, not for these guys. To the Black Pearl. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 alcohol chugging scenes in movies. I hung out in my basement, the chill zone is where we chill, relax, like relax and chill all at once. Oh. For this list, we're looking at those scenes in feature films where a character is faced with some form of alcohol, and the only logical choice is to down it as fast as possible. It doesn't matter if it's beer, wine, or rum. Just as long as there's lots of it and it's going down someone's throat. Yeah, you know what? You know what? Give me that thing. I'll do one. I'll do one. Pick on, do one. Do one. Pick on, do one. Gluttony is the name of the game here, so one or two shots are not enough to make the cut. One, two, three, go! Number 10. Initiation, 22 Jump Street. Do you know what I need to f***ing say? Open your f***ing mouth! College life is known for many things. Things like booze, booze, and more booze. What the fuck? Is it vodka? After graduating from high school, the troublesome undercover team of Jenko and Schmidt blend into college campus life with their own grueling initiation into one of the frats. Oh, give me pledges! <laughs> As pledges, the two are subjected to an endless onslaught of alcohol-related challenges throughout the night. Drink, motherfucker, drink, motherfucker, drink, motherfucker, drink. You know, the standards. Shots, booze baths, beer hurdles. Hours go by as the alcohol percentages rise, with this scene looking more like a sports movie than an action comedy. Number 9. Wine Tasting Sideways There's a uh, special on the Syrah by the case. For some people, when the going gets tough, drinking can be the best solution. Just ask Paul Giamatti. Hit me again. In the 2004 cult comedy He Plays Miles, a struggling writer and wine enthusiast with heavy stakes in a potential book deal that is about to take a turn south. Excuse me, could you just pour me a full glass? I'll pay for it, okay? Hitting the absolute bottom of rock bottom, Miles turns to the only true friend who really understands him, a big bowl of discarded wine that other people have spit out after a wine tasting. Why don't you buy a bottle and go outside? <laughs> trying to chug down every last drop, this scene tastes just as bittersweet as the wine itself. Mm. Oh. Oh. Mm. Number 8. Drinking and Driving, Leaving Las Vegas <laughs> Casual alcoholism is the flaw of choice for many tragic characters, and this guy is no exception. You'd think a movie about Nicolas Cage drinking his life away would sound hilarious, but sadly this is a movie far blacker than it would like to admit. Cage's attitude is shown right from the get-go, as he consumes gulp after gulp of vodka while driving down the Las Vegas Strip, making occasional eye contact with the police officer who's shadowing him as he goes. This opener serves as a great piece of insight into this alcoholic character, who's lost everything due to his vice. Number 7. Sharing a Beer National Lampoon's Vacation. You know what I want to do? There's nothing like a bit of father-son bonding, especially when a can of beer is involved. When I was your age, my dad shared a beer with me and I thought it was about the best thing in the world. Dismayed with the way the family vacation is gone, Clark Griswold decides to lament with his son while stranded in the desert, with only miles of open space and a beer can in front of them. Deciding to share the drink with his son Rusty, Clark cracks it open and they begin to drink away. Or at least one of them does. Yeah. When I was a boy, just about every summer we'd take a vacation. Hilariously downing the entire can just out of the eyeline of his rambling father, Rusty drinks his first beer to cool off under the hot desert sun. We're gonna have fun. <laughs> Number 6. Elf versus Dwarf the Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. No pauses, no spins, and no regurgitation. <laughs> Perhaps not the best known scene in the Peter Jackson franchise, this hoochie hootenanny was only available on the film's extended release. So, it's a drinking game. Last one standing wins. In the midst of their titanic war, 
Gimli sees fit to indulge in his favorite pastime by challenging his elven friend to a competition. <laughs> the two face off in a drinking game where the loser is the first to give in. But what the stubborn dwarf may not have considered is the impossible metabolism, stamina, or whatever it is that Legolas has been blessed with. Oh, it's the dwarves that go swimming with little hairy women. With elves at an obvious advantage, seemingly able to break down alcohol quicker than any other race, Gimli is left stumbling over every last word. I think he can't hold his liquor. Number 5. Das Boots Beer Fest. Fink's got the eye of the Jew. He's got the eye of the Jew. Fink's our anchor man. Who knew you could make a sports movie about booze? As you might have guessed, this 2006 comedy is filled to the brim with chugging scenes, including that time when Fink proves his worth to his friends, and of course, the strikeout. Alright, dude, this one's called the strikeout. What you're gonna do is take a hit, chug your beer, do a shot, then blow up the smoke. But you simply cannot beat the film's climax, where the USA squares off against Germany in this high intensity chugging contest. In a neat little drunken spin on the story of the underdog, the scene is shown as the grandest, most epic face off ever to befall a drinking competition. Number 4 Drunk Fighting The Legend of Drunken Master. <laughs> Jackie Chan truly is a champion fighter, even after a round or two. Popeye may have his spinach, but he's no match for Wang Fei Hung gooned up on wine. <laughs> Blending rich martial arts with sprinklings of comedy, Jackie Chan is fueled by the power of alcohol in his defensive battle against purse snatchers. <laughs> Growing stronger and of course drunker with every drop, Chan outdoes his opponents with each step in one of the most unlikely battles of his movie career. <laughs> Number 3. Boat Racing I Love You Man Alright, Pete, you done boat race, right? No! Just drink the f beer Just, and you'll get the hang of it. I Setting out to find some new male friends can be tricky if you're not especially good at drinking. Let's boat! Let's boat race! We're gonna kiss it Ain't no luck in boat race. Go. Go. One, go. two, three, go! Paul Rudd learns that lesson the hard way when trying to find a best man for his wedding in John Favreau. Oh, Finding himself in the heat of a boat racing beer chugging game, Rudd gives it the old college try, and his team actually claims victory. But he finds the price of winning is his dignity and his lunch. Landing himself in hot water for the unfortunate ending to the matchup, this serves as the only chugging scene on this list to leave a bad taste in our mouths, and probably also Paul Rudd's. I'm sorry. Get out of my house. I'm, I'm so sorry. Just get out of my fing house. I'm sorry. This is not cool! Get the f out! Number two, Frank the Tank, Old School. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I appreciate it, but I told my wife I wouldn't drink tonight. Quitting drinking can be difficult later in life, and being at a party filled with excitable college kids certainly won't help. Besides, I got a big day tomorrow, but, but you guys have a great time. A big day? I'm doing what? Well, um, actually, pretty nice little Saturday. We're, uh, we're gonna go to Home Depot. Despite Will Ferrell's protests about his mild-mannered plans for the next morning, he gives in to temptation and agrees to one chug. Or two, or three. Okay, you know what? You know what? Give me that thing. I'll do one. 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 In the span of one smash cut, he goes from a humble middle-aged man to a living, drinking legend. And how does he celebrate his newfound image? By going streaking in the dark of night, of course. What the hell are you doing? We're streaking! We're going up through the quad to the gymnasium! Who's streaking? Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Oh, the baby! The man's mad, eccentric, eccentric, he's insane. Not only that, he's a raving homosexual. Number one, 
Ludo's Bottle of Jack, Animal House. <coughs> with John Belushi as the drunken college frat boy in his seventh year of higher education, we couldn't deny his impressive liver the top spot on this list. They talked the bar! The whole fucking bar! The shock and trauma of losing his entire stash of booze proves too much for the student. But luckily, his friends are on hand to help with a bottle of whiskey. Let's time this, shall we? Under 10 seconds and the whiskey is gone, only to burn away inside Belushi's belly. You know what? Even if this is just prop iced tea, we're impressed. Thanks. I needed that. Do you agree with our list? Uh, oh, holy oh, shit. Oh. What's your favorite movie chugging scene? For more drunken top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Game over. <laughs> <laughs>